Thank you for your interest in Niagara Investment Castings and your interest in learning more about the investment casting process. These precision castings are sometimes referred to as near net shape castings since they can often be used with little or no subsequent finishing operations. The entire manufacturing process starts with wax patterns produced from injection dyes. The defining characteristics of an investment casting including its smooth surfaces, dimensional accuracy and high degree of detail attainable can be attributed to these dyes. Each casting requires a wax pattern, which is a disposable replica of the casting to be produced. To produce the wax patterns, the dyes are loaded into a wax press and filled via injection ports with a special pattern wax melted into a paste form. The wax quickly solidifies in the dye. The dye is opened and the wax pattern removed. This process is repeated for every part that is required. However, multiple cavity tools are used for high volume jobs to help with costs and increase productivity. The degree of internal detail possible with an investment casting is one of its most versatile characteristics. This detail is formed using either simple poles in the tooling or by using soluble wax or ceramic coring techniques for more complex internal detail. For prototyping or very short runs, Purchasing of production-oriented tooling is not always economical, so we offer the option of special printed patterns produced using stereolithography from 3D CAD data. Once the wax patterns are produced, they must be assembled to a feed system called a sprue. The sprue is made from reclaimed wax and designed to not only hold the wax patterns, but also engineered to form a sufficient pathway. Metal flows through the mold during casting to produce a sound and defect-free component during solidification. With the waxes now assembled to the sprue, we have completed what is called a tree. To transfer the exact detail of the wax pattern to the casting, the trees are encased in a seamless ceramic shell mold. It is formed by robots dipping or investing the wax into a slurry drying the tree and repeating. This builds up 3 8 to 1 half inch of ceramic around the tree. It is this ceramic shell or mold which will receive the molten metal during casting. The first coat is called the primary. It forms the innermost surface of the mold. For that reason, it must be carefully applied in very controlled conditions to ensure the quality. Gradually, additional layers of increasingly coarser secondary ceramic layers are added and the completed shell takes form. The next step is to remove the wax patterns and sprue. We do this by inverting the shell into either a steam autoclave or flash fire de-waxing furnace. The wax melts and runs out and the shell is now complete and fully self-supporting. When the shells are scheduled to be poured, they are reheated to approximately 1700 degrees to further condition and strengthen the ceramic shell. They are now able to withstand the thermal stress they must endure during the next stage. While the shells preheat, we prepare and melt the metal to be cast. When at the proper pouring temperature, the chemistry of the alloy is checked and the molds are filled with the molten metal. The metal completely fills the cavities of the mold, taking on the geometric shape which will form the outer detail of the cast component. Inside the cavity, the molten metal also surrounds any cores which will impart the same detail to the internal geometry of the casting. The metal is allowed to cool into its solid form and the ceramic shell is now ready to be removed from the castings using a variety of cleaning methods including blasting, vibration or chemical cleaning. The castings are cut from the sprue and the end gate is removed by grinding. Finally, the individual castings are given a final cleaning to expose the smooth and detailed surface. If heat number traceability is requested, this identification is directly engraved onto each of the castings. The castings are now ready for final processing to the customer's requirements, including heat treatment, NDT testing, machining, plating, or other value-added processes. The investment casting process is an economical manufacturing method that offers many benefits and advantages over competing processes. 
We hope this video has been informative and helpful, and thank you for your interest in Niagara Investment Castings.